Hey crafty friends, it's Elizabeth from BB's Butterfly and today I have an interesting project to show you. I know I've been absent for quite a while with my videos and I want to show you the reason why. And please do not judge. Um, I had some family things come up and then a craft fair and my craft space is a disaster. So I want to show you the before video um, and then I'll do an after. Hopefully Monday or Tuesday when I get my room organized. But I want to show you the tornado that is spinning in my craft room. So I'm just going to take you around the room and hopefully not make you dizzy. What you're looking at is actually the door to my office because I have a separate room. Um, and then behind that is my backyard. So it's a nice space, but um, I'm just going to kind of show you my craft room. So above the door, I have this really cool wrought iron fixture with some, you know, scarfy material. Um, but as we pan around, this is my tool uh, pegboard that I bought and um, it's still a work in progress. And then this is a shelf where um, that baby doll is actually, um, was my mother-in-law's. And then my mom's little graduation present. And then I have lots of embellishments and um, a pile of junk. <clears throat> and if I step back, here is a bigger pile of junk. Um, this is a chair that I um, covered. If I can find... Right there. I covered that chair. Um, it was my father-in-law's and um, we inherited it. And my dog liked it so much that then I had to cover it because she was laying in it all the time. But now that she's too big to fit in it, I can uncover it. But right now, you see it's stacked with all kinds of stuff. Um, and it goes all the way to the ceiling. Um, so this is my paper trays, all of my uh, plastic bins of embellishments, those binders up there have my stencils and stamps in them, and this shelf is supposed to have all of my ink sprays, but I took it down to complete some projects and I haven't put them back up because they are right there in the floor. Um, this thing right here is made out of um, poster board, um, uh, foam core board, and it actually is supposed to house all of my paints, but it fell off the wall in the middle of the night. <clears throat> so I have to fix that. Um, I guess I put one too many things on it. Um, there's my, uh, Zyron. Um, I have two quilting hoops, not that I use them and a makeshift cart that I kind of created for all of my batting. And this little cart here, has um, a bunch of projects that I'm working on altering and some more paper in the floor and an old dictionary. Um, and then if I pan around, there's the door to my hallway. My husband's office is directly across the hall. And then here's the closet <clears throat> um, with my stamp storage on top. These are all my wood mount stamps. Well, not all of them because I'm in the process of taking them off of the wood so that I can turn them all into cling mounts for easier storage. Um, and then I have my uh, Why I Am Roses and all of my DSP and these plastic tubs right here and right here are not crafting materials. So there you go. Um, my old contour box from my cable company and there's where all the paint ended up. And then I have new stuff I haven't put up. My sewing machine. It's actually my, um, yeah, that's my sewing, my grandma's sewing machine. I have ribbon storage, fabric storage, junk storage, um, junk in the floor. That bag right there is scrap material that needs to be put away. Um, there's altering stuff. That's my sewing table. Um, I have this nine cube shelf, um, from Walmart that I can't even get to. 
Um, and this is my recording studio that I cannot use and my work table. Um, this thing right here with all my stamps on it is um, made out of foam core board and um, contact paper, which is pretty awesome. And the pipes are what I use to hook my phone to, to record. And again, it goes all the way to the ceiling. Look at that. Oh, those are quilts that I'm working on that I haven't finished. Um, more storage that is just a jumbled mess. And it goes all the way to the floor. And there is a crate full of stuff that needs to be put away. And it's so dark you can't even see it, but there's another one of those nine cube um, cubbies. Um, yeah, so, and then I'm going to take you back to the closet for a moment. Just pan slow. Oh, there's all my homemade, um, alcohol inks. And I'm going to go to the closet for a moment because in the closet, what you cannot see is this rack of junk that needs to be cleaned out. And it goes all the way to the ceiling. There's all of my um, wreath making fabric stuff, more fabric, CD cases, boxes and boxes of stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to show you my mess that I'm dealing with. And um, this is going to be my weekend project to clean it all up and to fix it. Because right now it's a disaster. So anyway, I'll be back when it's somewhat clean. Bye. Hey crafty friends, it's Elizabeth from BB's Butterfly and I have the reveal of my craft room reorganization. If you remember, the craft room was a disaster and now it's not so much a disaster. So I want to show you kind of what I've been doing. Again, this that door is the door to my office, so excuse the picture. But first, I want to show you, I have found my wolf figurine collection. And so that's the little wind chime. And then there's my collection. I'm so happy I found it. Yeah, I've been in this house now for three years and I finally found my collection. So, um, and then these little guys right here are, um, toilet paper rolls that some of my YouTube friends um, made for me. So there's Tamara Cross 9 and Scrappin' Life Away. Hi ladies! Um, so I'm planning on using this space for a display of all the pretties that are sent to me. So first of all, I just want to kind of go through and show you what I've done. Um, I'm going to start this way. Pegboard, still the same. Um, still got some work to do on that. And this was the corner shelf. I didn't do much to it, but now there's another corner shelf underneath it. And it's for my overstock and my, um, alcohol inks and different things like that. I don't have many alcohol inks, so it works out great. Um, and then this is one of my nine cubes. Don't mind the crate there. That's still a crate I need to go through. Um, but I have like all of my gesso and chalk paints. Um, these two bins right here have Christmas um, embellishments and decorations and things. All of my glues are here. All of my weird tapes, um, sand, decorative sand and things like that. Um, this box also has some Christmas in it. And then down here I have a bunch of um, votive candles and some clamps and different weird stuff like that. And in this box, um, yeah, that's tissue paper and um, packaging paper. Um, I'm still in the process of labeling everything. And then here's the other two. I'm going to back up just a bit. So these are the other two nine cubes. Um, sets and on the bottom I have all of my books and then I have extra storage things in this one. I have just some 
um, craft, I'm sorry, scrap fabric in these two right here. And if we go up, I have um, some finished projects there. And this one I have all of my clay and um, homemade inks and things. Um, in that box, I have all of my beading um, for bead sprays and things like that. So that's all in that box. And alcohol, dish soap, uh, all my eight and a half by 11 papers. This has all of my writ dyes in it um, for making homemade alcohol inks. That is a box of um, like distressed paper, book pages, things like that. Um, all of my weird stuff and a couple of bottles that I really like that I found at a um, thrift store and my coloring books and my markers. Um, go down here. In this case is like some popsicle sticks and some random punches that I don't really use a lot. This case has all my jewelry stuff in it. This little box that I made has my um, raffita and some weird crazy um, things that I found at Michael's after Halloween. And um, if anybody knows Pink Poodle Crafts, I sent her some of these. So see, I have some too. Um, my homemade ink sprays, all of my stick pin um, beads. I'm sorry, the lighting seems to be doing weird stuff. Um, in this box is random stuff that I have not yet found a home for. Um, I have a huge old dictionary and then all of my blingy things. Um, I love this nightlight. It's a vintage nightlight that we found in a desk. And then I have some of my blingy things. Um, <clears throat> this is a Lazy Susan that I'm working on that I haven't put together yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'll link to where I found that idea on the Lazy Susan and I'll show you the one that I finished in a minute. This is all of my um, pearls and some other blingy things. This down here has um, random charms and things that I'm trying to put together. And this, I don't know if anybody recognizes that, but it is an Anna Griffin um, box that had DIY Christmas uh, cards in it from two years ago. And then my craft iron. And then all of my drawers here, I have them labeled. So I have um, all of my duct tape, Velcro, um, my tools like my melting pot and my rolling pin, things like that in there. Um, glitter and gelatos. I have um, this one is for like my Fiskars punches and my um, mold putty and things like that. I have some paper goods so there's some um, brown paper bags and things like that and then my baby wipes are on the bottom. And if I go all the way to the top because I do go all the way to the ceiling I have all of my 12 by 12 um, paper cardstock. I didn't do anything with these up here. Um, this has some pictures and things in it that I need to make a scrapbook out of and my mom's old sewing case. Um, some candlesticks that I'm working on and I'm going to go around the room. This is where my paint shelf used to be and it fell off the wall. So um, I have plans for that. Um, up here again I have all my wooden stamps that I didn't do anything with. And then this is how I store all of my um, uh, Wild Orchid Crafts and um, I Am Rose's Flowers. So there's the curtain rod and then those little ring things with the clips on it. And I just put them up here so that I can see everything I have. And I've marked them all at the top with the item numbers. So in case I lose the package that, that it's in, um, I know exactly what it is. And then in the closet, I just kind of reorganized some things. I put all of my machines in here, and then I have a clamp-on desk lamp that I can use. Um, all of my um, deco mesh spools, and I didn't do anything with the top, so 
all, if you can see up there, all the fabric is still there and then all my giant rolls are all the way in the top. Um, in these plastic cases, these are things that, again, I don't really have a home for yet, so I'm kind of working on it. Um, this is the Lazy Susan that I finished. So this houses all of my tools, and these I got at Target. Um, it was a set of two or three, I don't remember, I think it was three, for um, like $2.99. And then the pans I bought at the Dollar Tree, and then I also found the glass marbles at the Dollar Tree. So I took one pan, put some marbles in it, stuck the other pan in it, glued all these little cups together, and now I have my own little fancy Lazy Susan. Um, I'm going to turn on the light. Maybe this will help. There we go. And then this one I found at the thrift store for 99 cents. So it houses like um, my glue and my little beading tools, all of my um, spatulas and flamethrowers and stuff like that. Um, then I have... I have this basket right here that I haven't gone through yet either. Um, it was a disaster and I just haven't gotten there yet. Um, my mom's craft box and under here, I just want to show you this piece of awesomeness. It was inspired by, if I can find the link to the video I saw, um, it was inspired by a lady who used these clip on things. Um, if you remember, or if you know the, these little plastic display clips, um, strips. I went to the Dollar Tree and I found a bunch of um, fabric boxes and things and I saw a bunch of these that were just hanging on the shelf with nothing on them. So I picked them up and I went to the cashier and asked how much they would sell them to me for and she just gave me a whole bunch of them. She said, we get them all the time. You can just have them. So I used them I can move my basket here, and I zip tied them to a shower curtain rod that is jammed between the closet door jam. Um, and then I zip tied it to my table. So now I have a place to hang all of my embellishments. And I'm sorry, it is really dark under here because I'm under the table. So all of my embellishments are hung, or the ones that I use a lot, are hung under the table so I can get to them. Then I have, um, I'm sorry, I'm sitting on the floor now. I have these two crates that are full of ribbon that I have to find a home for. Um, I have a basket that I'm still hanging my embellishments up on. And then I've got some random stuff under the desk. So this is my table. Um, it is jammed into the edge of the closet and sticking out so that I have a nice big work surface. And this zebra print is contact paper that I just rolled out and stuck down onto the table. Then I have my cutting mat and my best ever craft mat. So I have a nice clean work surface um, to use and to film. Then I have um, my stamp rack that I made out of foam core board. And then there's my paint rack, which I have to reinforce and revive so that I can put all my paint in it. Um, in this is a box that I was working on and I have to fix these two places where the drawers don't fit, but that's a box made out of chipboard and my sewing desk. I also covered in um, contact paper and then this drawer system here has um, like my contact paper, my Cricut cartridges and things like that. This is the chair that you did not see because it was so covered up with stuff. This was the chair that was my father-in-law's that I recovered, and um, I still have to sew the arm on it right here. I have to sew that closed. But um, that's my now my work chair, so that's pretty awesome. Um, this is a rack full of fabric and my sewing stuff. And then this is the giant organization system that my husband and I built. It is inspired by the scrap box or the the work box. Um, so I kind of studied the pictures and looked at it a lot and then decided that I could build that. So we bought a bunch of MDF and we started building. So I have 
all of my paper packs are here. And then I have my six by sixes and down here is um, the my paper napkins. And then these tiny little shelves here hold things like my um, dyes, my pastels, um, I have wax paper and paper towels and all kinds of that kind of thing. In this box, um, honestly, I don't know what that box is. Yes, I do. That box has all of my um, scrap cardstock. So for card making and things like that, um, this has all of my pens and glue runners and things like that. That basket, sorry, that basket has my tools. So I have a hammer and some other stuff that I reach for a lot. Um, this box right here has my um, movers and shapers plate, magnetic plate, um, my extra score tape. Then I just have random things like um, what's in this one? Oh yeah, things to alter, things to store. Um, this one has my um, new or recently used embossing folders that I have to put away. This is a basket of lace and ribbon. Just, I'm sorry, lace, cheesecloth, and my doilies. Um, and then I found this piece of awesomeness. This is a tatted rose doily that I found in my mother-in-law's stuff. Isn't that amazing? I have no idea how old it is, but it's pretty awesome. Um, so I have, I put that in there. Um, some things, some, uh, what is that? Oh, my new or recently used, uh, stencils, some projects that I, or embellishments that I made that I need to put away and open stock embellishments that I need to find a way to store. And then down here I have, um, this is a box I'm working on. These are um, things for projects, just extra stuff. And in here I have all of my, like my scoreboard and my punch board, my ironing slash cutting mat. And this is a disaster. This is all of my scrap, scrapbook paper that I'm glad I built a couple of really big places because I need to use all of that. Um, and then over here, this is like my go bag for my uh, scrap hops. Um, this is, these are empty right now and I'm not sure what I need to do. Maybe I'll, if I organize my scrap paper into colors, I can put them in there. Um, this is my sewing box. These are DSP, just um, single sheets. In those boxes, sorry, this is in the wrong place. This is my water jar where I rinse my paint brushes. Um, this has, oh, that's my, some extra score tape and um, double sided tape and then some extra mini stamps that I don't use. So they're just kind of there. Um, this is empty. This one has a lot of, you know, random weird embellishments and um, eyelets and things like that. And the case just fits in there. I have my um, art journal, journaling paper, watercolor paper, my um, uh, crocodile, and this has some hardware in it. So miniature hinges and closures and things like that. And then this piece of awesomeness is my ink spray rack and my stickles are on the bottom upside down so i took some leftover um mdf and i'm sorry i did not because that's not what that is um that's made out of one and a half by one these are one and a half by one pieces of um board and this is baseboard and I built the shelf and then believe it or not this right here is medical like oxygen tubing um, for some weird reason my mother-in-law had a bunch of that so I thought that would be perfect to use as a um, restraint for things so that they don't fall off the wall um, or off the shelf so I thought that was pretty cool 
my extras are up there or things that are not either Tattered Angels or Lindy's. Um, so I have them. I have to reorganize it so that they're by color. But I wanted, I was so proud of that. I just need to get on the shelf. So my Lindy's is on top and then my Tattered Angels is on the bottom. And then down here, I used Velcro to hang all of my stickles upside down. So that's pretty cool. And then in the floor is my giant collection of paint that I need to put in my paint box or paint storage system. And then this is random stuff that I need to organize. Um, right now it's just stuff like extra flowers and um, like these little things to alter. Uh, oops, get back in there. Um, rub-ons and stickers and alphas and, you know, that kind of stuff that I chipboard letters and, um, food coloring. So that I need to organize and go through. Um, see, it's just kind of thrown in there. Stuff that I was using as I was using it and just needed to get it out of my way. Now, my plan for, um, when I'm working is to have one of my crates right here next to me, next to my trash can, so that as I'm using things out on a project, I can put it in the crate. And then at the end of the project, I can go through and put it all away. Now that it's all organized and I'm super happy and excited about it, I have a wonderful space to work. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. Um, oh yeah, I forgot, up here on the top. These are things that I made. I'm not finished with that because I have to fix that top up there um, and put a piece of paper in it. But. And there's my little altered bottle that I dropped and broke the neck on. Um, a project for my niece. That is a box that I'm working on. And I've got lots of extra chipboard and wooden letters and things like that. Um, if you see my birdcage video, there's my birdcage. There is my garden fairy prayers. If you've seen my um, steampunk corset, that's what that is. There's some altered letters that I was working on. And then all of this stuff up here is um, like extra ribbon, uh, thread, um, yarn, stuff like that. That is just up there because that's where it was before. So anyway, I hope that you really like the video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And now that I have this awesome space to work in, I can get back to recording videos. Yay! All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.